I have seen a couple of videos on YouTube where people are trying to create a high pass in Procreate for sharpening an image. Here is the correct way of applying a high pass in Procreate. Before we dive in, let's go through the steps. To create the high pass, we first need to create two copies of the image we want to sharpen, which we can easily do by duplicating. The top copy will be inverted and blended with 50% opacity. This will result in a grey image. Next, we apply the Gaussian Blur to the inverted layer to get the high pass. After we merge these two copies, we can apply the Linear Light Blend Mode to get the sharpening effect and we're done. So let's apply these steps in Procreate. I'll open up the layers and swipe to the left to open up the layer actions and choose duplicate. And another time for the second copy. Perfect, now that we have our two copies, let's invert the top layer. The easiest way to invert a layer is to tap on the layer icon and selecting invert from the pop-up menu. To change the blend opacity, tap on the layer blend settings which is indicated by the letter N which represents the normal blend mode. This will open up the blend options where we can also change the blend opacity. Slide this to 50% and as expected we get a nice neutral grey result. While the inverted layer is selected, let's move to the adjustments and choose Gaussian Blur. Increase the blur by slowly swiping to the left. You don't want to overdo it, so let me quickly make the image bigger so we get a closer look on what's happening. The current blur is way too much and I'll dim it down. You just want the image slightly coming to the grey where you begin to see the details. This looks about right. And we have created our high pass output of the image. In order to use this to sharpen the image, we need to merge these two layers. I'll tap the layer icon and choose Merge Down so we get one layer. Now that we have one layer, we can open the blend options and choose Linear Light as the blend mode. As I turn on and off this layer, I hope you can see the difference in sharpness. So if you ever wanted to sharpen an image in Procreate, this is how you do that. Thanks again for tuning in and until the next video.